I am sitting here with uh, Danny next to two players, um, one uh, of the old team and one brand new player. I could say a super transfer, but it's not. It's a youth product and it was trained while well, it was built by Tech United. The big difference between these two types of football robots are the wheels. So maybe let's first take a look at the classic wheels that are used. They are uh, Omni wheels. And so you have the big cir circular wheel, but it is covered with small wheels that can turn uh, exactly to the other side. These wheels, I think, cannot turn inside the robot. No, that is correct. So the idea is um, yeah, that the, the, the wheels are static with respect to the motor, and the, the, the robot can actually move due to the wheels on the circumstance of the, of the, um, of the wheel. Um, but yeah, it's not possible to rotate the wheel around. So one negative effect of that is that yeah, we are limited by the small radius of those wheels. You can actually see that if you, um, yeah, the, the larger wheels you have, the more you can accelerate in order to, yeah, to move from from A to B. That, and that's of course what we want during a yeah. soccer match. This uh, this big wheel is powered by a motor, but the small wheels are not. I think they are just passive wheels. Yeah, indeed, that's correct. So the uh, small wheels, uh, th those are not powered. Those are just uh, to make sure that the, the, the platform is omnidirectional, which means that it can move in all directions, as, um, yeah, such that it can rotate, shield the ball, uh, and of course, aim to shoot uh, for the goal. Um, and by uh, adding the three, f yeah, the three speeds of these uh, wheels together, yeah, we can make sure that the robot is able to move yeah, in all directions, basically. Yeah, so they, they completely take every friction away. And so just, the, let's say, the ratio uh, of, of the difference in speed between the three wheels that are turning, that kind of decides what direction the robot is moving in. Yes, yes, indeed. So we always have some, um, yeah, we always lose some speed, of course, because they're also not always in the direction that you want. It's like, yeah, summing up those three wheel speeds in general makes it move into a certain direction but it will never be a hundred percent another movement that is important is you have to be able to turn how do you do it with omni wheels yeah so that's a, a good fact about this uh, configuration because if you rotate each wheel into one direction yeah then the robot is able to rotate around its axis and yeah that's what we can also see in the game that it's really well in aiming and shooting um, yeah without losing the ball but then now, innovation on the football field. This is a new platform that was built this year, I think. Um, it has not played any official games yet. A new type of wheel. How does this one work? Yeah, so this is indeed uh, yeah, uh, the new platform. We call it the, the Swerve Drive. So what you can see here, three wheels again. But this time, there are normal wheels instead of omnidirectional wheels. So there's no uh, small wheels on the, on the circumference. It's just a normal wheel. And yeah, aligning these three wheels, of course, makes sure that we can move into one direction. But uh, yeah, uh, so one thing we added to this, which makes it a swerve drive, is that the wheel can also rotate around its axis. And yeah, in order to do this, you can make sure that the, ro the robot is able to move both in forward as well as side direction. But this, this turning movement is also controlled by the computer. The, the computer decides what uh, it, it's not like a, a supermarket uh, cart where the wheel will just go flip it, flip it, flip it in any direction it wants. No, indeed, it, it, it looks a bit like uh, uh, um, yeah, those, those wheels that you can see in the supermarkets. But the advantage is that it, it's indeed um, powered. So this is a motor which is able to rotate the wheel around its axis. And then we have another motor which uh, yeah, spiels, spins the wheels around. So yeah, in total that means three sets of two motors, so six motors in total. And here you only have three motors for all the uh, movements. Is that, is that a disadvantage of this system, that you have more moving parts? Yeah, we, we uh, expect that it will, uh, uh, yeah, it will use a lot more energy in order to move from one, one side to the other. Uh, on the other hand, um, yeah, we, yeah, we do want to try this in order to see how fast can we eventually play around? And um, eventually we want to move from yeah, the carpet that you see here to watch some more uneven terrain. Um, and yeah, we are pretty sure that we cannot do this with this, the Omni wheels that we see over there. Okay. 
So it's uh, already looking ahead at the future because, of course, the goal of Robocop is, in the end, to play on a normal football field, on a grass field against the human players. And that could be with those wheels or could maybe even be with legs. Yes, so yeah, that's indeed uh, another innovation that we hope to uh, bring in uh, next year. Uh, we are already, yeah, trying around with legged robots, so especially the four-legged systems, because they are both stable as well as fast. So, yeah, we see a lot of potential in that. But until then, we will keep, we'll stick to what we know, like like three wheels on the ground, and try to yeah, accelerate and move as, as fast as we can to grab the ball, rotate around your axis, and of course, uh, shoot at the goal. Is uh, speed and acceleration the biggest advantage of this system? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Um, those are the two, at least, the two things that we, um, yeah, we think is, is um, helping us in order to move along the field. Um, and of course, yeah, like I said, the uh, moving in uh, on other terrains, um, rotating around its axis, and well, it's, uh, th those sort of things. When will we see it on the field for the first time? Yeah, so uh, actually uh, just uh, an hour ago I had it uh, moving for the first time uh, in an autonomous matter. So which means that yeah, it can actually already uh, locate itself, know where it is. Um, it, it, yeah, I had some practice in the, in the goal. So let's hope that we can uh, uh, see some movement during the, the next match. Yeah, well, we'll see. That will be a world premiere, the, uh, the swerve drive for the first time uh, on a, a robot football field. I hear some people call this robot the Swerve Smurf. Do you agree with the nickname or not? I, I wouldn't agree. I, I wouldn't not agree with it, but uh, I think we need a, a much stronger name of that. But you will see uh, once it starts moving. Uh. The robot is too strong to be called a Smurf, is what uh, Denny said. But I'm really looking forward. I saw it driving around on its own for uh, a while. I'm really curious to see what it does in an actual game. Thank you, Denny.